Well, apparently since early this morning, Bell, Rogers, and Tellus, and let me make this clear, Bell owns both Virgin and Lucky Mobile. Rogers owns Fido and Chad R, and Tellus owns both Public and Kudu. Besides them, Freedom Mobile is also having issues with their voice services. They are intermittently down. All carriers, including the mobile network operators, sorry, mobile virtual network operators, FNVOs for short, are also affected. And when that happens, people forget that cellular technology is imperfect. It's like your wireless router. You have to reboot it every so often. Now with cellular technology, no, they can't just shut off and reboot all the equipment erected on towers and cellular sites, or erected mounts on roofs, steeples and all that, or fences and walls. No, they can't just do that, because it would cause total chaos. And how would they possibly let everybody know all over the world that they're going to do that to fix a problem? No. They gotta find out what's causing the problem and fix the problem. It's gonna take time. It may take as much as two days, it may take as long as five days. Yes, an entire week. That's why this shit is not easy to diagnose or fix. You should know that already. I already know that. It's not fucking perfect. Wireline internet services like DSL and cable or fiber to the node or fiber optic They also run out of problems too. You should also know that it's never going to be perfect So I'm gonna say this give freedom over a break and for those on Rogers Bell and Telus and their subsidiaries Including the mobile virtual network operators that use their services as their backbone or their spine as you call it also give them a break the carriers are not and I mean no they're not gonna compensate you for every single day of no service voice services specifically mine aren't affected and maybe because I don't use voice over LTE whatever uh, maybe it is affecting that I don't know I can't speak of anything when shit like that happens shit happens just about two weeks ago or maybe, maybe a bit longer than that or less than that. There was a denial of service attack affecting Freedom, Freedom Mobile's data services. It knocked out both 3G and LTE. Because remember, I got two devices. I got a few Android devices. So what doesn't get LTE, I have something that does. And yeah, they were down. And I have a feeling who I may think it might be. But then again, it's dirty money. And it's not related to this. Anything... Which is also, though, anything on a fucking packet can be knocked off. Yeah. So, that's what I'm probably thinking is happening. It's happening. It's not just Freedom Mobile that's affected with voice services. All the carriers. All of them. And it may be some dirty organization somewhere else choosing to pick off their voice over IP services. And that totally sucks. Now, if you got really older devices that use the older voice networks, not voice over LTE, you may be okay. You probably are okay, actually. And that's probably better, because those kinds are probably far harder to knock, that, knock out than anything but a freaking packet. Anyways, they'll probably have this problem solved pretty soon. And... I'm just going to sit back and relax and just do what I got to do. If I miss a call, I miss a call. If I don't, I don't. It's not the end of the world. I have a landline. So I can use that to make and receive phone calls if I need to. Anyways, uh, that's all I got to say. Peace out. Thanks for watching and fucking relax. It's not the end of the world.